Hey, welcome back to GG Gaming. We've got another raid showcase for the seven star Venusaur Terror Raid, and it's a tough one. This one is going to be a lot of fun. This is for that legendary Pokemon right there that I've actually not used before in any raids, Tien Po. And if I am mispronouncing that, please correct me down in the um, comments on exactly how to pronounce his name because I just don't know. Apologies. This is going to be a lot of fun. Stick around, we're going to go through all the details on how to make this guy take out Venusaur with actually not too much trouble at all, so that you can easily solo this. Let's get to it! Alright, not wasting any time. Let's do it. Summary for Chien Po. Again, if I'm mispronouncing it, I apologize. Well, here is what we need, all right? You're gonna go Ice Terra. Ice is great against Venusaur. Uh, if you haven't checked out the actual Venusaur guide that I did first that precedes these, please do that because it's gonna walk through exactly how Venusaur works and how his setup works, what, what it all is. You, you get the idea. All right, Ice, held item, Shell Bell. We need the healing, okay? It's key to making sure that we get through this thing even though we are going to have an NPC to help us, but Shell Bell is going to be what you're gonna wanna run. Jumping on over to the move set. All right, moves and then stats. Four moves, Avalanche. Same thing that you saw in the Mew build um, because it's a great move. Why is it great? Well, it's got 60 base power and it's physical. We're doing physical builds against this Venusaur, all right? And that the power is doubled when you take damage in the same turn and you will always take damage from Venusaur, which means this thing is actually 120 damage. Awesome, 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 awesome. Why do you always take damage? Because if you use this, Venusaur will always get to go first. Plus, Venusaur's ability with the sun up boosts his attack times two, which means he's typically going first anyway. But you'll get the idea when we get in and actually see the raid. All right. Next move down, Recover. Recover's critical for this guy. He does not have the best defensive stats. So we're going to need a little bit of healing help to make sure we can get fully set up for the raid. Third move down, Sword Dance. Sword Dance, of course, we have to fully boost um, our Chien Po to make sure that Avalanche is doing maximum damage so that we can really punch through this Venusaur. And that is going to be the, the name of the game in this build. We're going to hit hard and make up time very, very quickly. We're going to spend some time building up the, the initial setup, but then we're going to hit really, really hard with this Pokemon. Fourth move down, Snarl. Snarl's key to canceling out uh, Venusaur's annoying beginning of the fight, all right? So he's going to set up growth, get plus two on his special attack. Snarl's going to take care of that for us, all right? It lowers the special attack every time it hits. The only thing I don't like about this is Snarl's a 95% accuracy. Odds are you're not going to miss. If it does miss, you probably have to reset just because you're going to run out of time getting through this or, or HP. You might be able to work your way into making it happen, but if RNG is not in your favor, um, that's detrimental, but I still really, really love this build. All right, over to the stats for Chien Po, okay? So here's what you're going to look to do. Essentially, full attack, all right? Full attack is where we're running, and then I went full special defense. You probably could go HP if you wanted to. That's typically what I recommend, but given how hard Venusaur hits, uh, the special defense is what I'm going to recommend. When I tried this with HP, I was having mixed results. Giving him the special defense allows him to survive the first hit or second hit of the match and get at least one snarl off. Without the special defense, you're going to get knocked out immediately because his defense is so low. It's this native defense here, right here, this is so low that you just get knocked out before you even get a chance to move, which is, it just hurts. <laughs> So odds are you're going to go down once, but we want to make sure we survive just long enough to get one snarl off. That's the game. And that'll make more sense as we get into the fight. Love his ability. Sword of Ruin lowers the defensive stats just because he's there, allowing us to hit Venusaur even harder. Awesome ability. Nothing you have to do there. It triggers automatically just by him being on the field. All right, that is that for this awesome legendary Snow Tiger. Let's go do the raid. All right. We in. So, step one, he's going to use um, Sunny Day along with Growth, boosting his special attack and his stack, stat, stack stats plus two. I don't care about the attack stat, it's irrelevant. Plus two special attack is where it gets really dangerous. All right, from there, he's going to use Petal Blizzard. There is the Petal Blizzard. So, we've already taken almost half our HP and we haven't even got to move. This is the importance of putting the IVs into that special defense stat so that we do get at least one move off. So Snarl, 
We're gonna use Snarl three times, all right? That's the name of the game. He used Amnesia. Awesome. That's RNG. You can't predict what he's gonna do, so that guarantees we get one Snarl. Odds are we're gonna get two Snarls now before we go down, because we probably would have been knocked out right there, um, or at least on the next hit, uh, without getting another Snarl off. So we're gonna get two. We got two, and it missed. 95% accuracy, and it missed. But, he used Amnesia. So, we're gonna try again. There goes the clearing of our stats, which is always right there very, very early because it's 85% on time. So, as you see, I'm actually going before Venusaur because, one, uh, this this Snow Tiger Chiampo has incredible speed. He's extremely fast. Why am I going first? Well, Bellabolt, um, as well as the uh, um, this guy here, uh, Wooper, has probably, um, or Claude, Claude Zyre, whatever his name is, has probably put up uh, Mudshot. They do Mudshot a lot, which is dropping the Venusaur's speed stat, which is allowing me to go first. So that's why I'm allowed to go first, because um, Chiampo's got awesome speed, and uh, uh, Venusaur's speed is doubled with the sun with his ability to relative. All right, back to what we're doing. Snarl times three. So we've landed uh, two of them, okay? We missed one. We're actually still okay because of the amnesia he used. Um... We're fine. I did say earlier that if you miss one, you probably have to reset, but I think you're going to be okay. So, all right. Now, as you see, we're taking a whole lot less damage now. I'm going to go straight into three sword dances. Three snarls, followed by three sword dances. Filter in a recover if you need to to stay alive to get your sword dances up. So, you pay attention to the HP bar down there. He's not hitting me very hard. The Snarls have done their job. I'm, I'm taking the hits like a champion, and Gardevoir over here is keeping me alive. So we're going to get these three sword dances up, no problem at all. Once you are fully buffed with this Pokemon, he hits incredibly hard, all right? This is the final sword dance. I'm going to go Terra and Ice and hit with Avalanche, and odds are we are going to take the entire shield in one hit. I really, really like this build just because of how strong this Pokemon is. When you combine three sword dances, so a max attack stat, all right? We are max attack, plus his ability for Swords of Ruin, which is weakening the defense of Venusaur. All right, here we go. Paralyze, Avalanche. We have not needed Recover at all because we've been able to take the hits and Gardevoir's doing her job and keeping us alive. So right here is where we are going to make up an incredible amount of time. And if you've watched the Mew, uh, showcase the Mew showcase is very very close on time. This one is not even close. If you, in fact, there are times with this one I don't even go down in the beginning, um, and I'm able to, to take out Venusaur, no problem, and have almost half the time left. So, go, ooh, almost, just a sliver off of knocking that shield out in one hit. But Shell Bell fully max healed us, no problem. Here's the key. He's already debuffed this once. He's not going to do it again. We are free to avalanche him down. Maximum power avalanche the rest of this fight. Venusaur does not stand a chance against this legendary Pokemon. And it's awesome. Look at that. Look at that damage. So we just pushed the last milestone, which is going to be Sunny Day. He uses Sunny Day at 50% HP. He's going to put that back up. That's an automated coded move. Um, completely irrelevant. Sunny Day does not affect Ice-type moves at all, so we're going to continue to just rock this. This honestly might knock him out right here. We'll see. Without a shield... No, never mind. We didn't get hit, so we don't get double damage. So definitely didn't knock him out. The next one, he's getting knocked out. Because he's going to get to go first. He's going to hit us with Earth Power, uh, which is the nature of Avalanche. He will always go first. He'll hit you. Double the damage to 120, and then... Go. Game over for Venusaur. Even with getting knocked out, but we got knocked out once. We still have about 25% time remote, time left. Awesome. Love this build. Hope this helps you. Great opportunity to use a legendary Pokemon we've traditionally not been able to use in Rage very much and probably overlooked. Really, really cool. This is my favorite by far of the four showcases. And hey, look at that. Three more Herba Mystica. That is now... Um, 
100% of the time I've defeated Venusaur, I've gotten Herba Mysticas one, two, and three counts every single time. This is a great farming opportunity if you need those. Really, really cool. If this was helpful, as always, throw down in the comments what other stuff you're using. I'd love to know. Hit that like, hit that sub button if you've not. Um, and hey, check out the other showcases and we'll see you in the next one.